think of the Switch's marketing is a little bit of a sandwich. I mean, you have the bread and butter, which is the portability and the games. And then you cut that in half, and that is what we call sharing the joy. Of course, you cut it diagonally because, I mean, who's going to cut otherwise? We hardly need a Splatfest to sort that one out. Now, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is yet another game in Nintendo's picnic basket that allows two players to bite down on the action. Unfortunately, the two-player mode isn't all that meaty, but there's still a fair bit of fat here to chew on. Starting up the two-player mode is as simple as shake, shake, shake. Just shake the Joy-Con while on the world map, and the opposite sex version of you will fall from the heavens. Keep in mind, if you just started a new game, two-player mode will not be available until you have a Pokemon, other than the freebie handed out by Professor Generous. Notice the green icon at the bottom right? That's how you know a second trainer can jump on in, and with another quick shake of the controller, they can beam themselves back up to the abyss. This doppelganger isn't exactly the Luigi to your Mario. While on the world map, they're about as interactive as a walking simulator that can't see, touch, or do anything. That's not to say the second player is as useless as tits on a Tauros. When you encounter a wild Pokemon, both trainers will have the option to bombard the target with Pokeballs. If you can coordinate your throw with your second player, or just hold two Joy-Con on one hand, you can throw two balls at once for a special capture that decreases the chance of the Pokemon escaping your Pokeball, and will help feed that never-ending lust to capture them all. Player 2 will also help you battle other trainers, but since Pokemon Let's Go isn't exactly a hard game, especially now that grinding can be replaced by exercise and eating candy, it's hard to recommend this mode to anyone seeking a challenge. It almost feels like getting a golden Tanuki suit in Mario, or playing a Kirby game. By the way, joke's on me, since this new Kirby DLC basically flips a birdo at anyone who says Kirby was too easy. The reason these battles become a walk in the safari zone is because you're doubling the amount of attacks that you take each turn. Now you and your buddy will both take a Pokemon into battle, both attack, and both share in that sweet, sweet EXP bonus from fainting your foe. There are a couple more things to mention here. First of all, if you want to use two Pokeballs because you're the ultimate dweeb like me and Nat, then go into your menu, press the Y button or shake the Pokeball, and choose the Open Controller settings. From here, connect one Pokeball Plus, and before exiting, connect the other. You'll know Player 2 is connected when you feel the Pokeball vibrate. Now exit the menu and simply shake it up. Also, if you'd like the second player to be a little bit more than a gender swap, make sure you select a buddy Pokemon for them. To do this, simply select a buddy Pokemon for yourself, and the slot after yours will become their buddy. Personally, I'm not going to go shouting about Pokemon Let's Go P&E's two-player mode too loudly, since it makes an already easy game even easier. And it's not exactly implemented that well. Like every time you transition from inside to out, you'll have to wait half a second while the other player beams back down to Kanto. But the option is really not offending anyone who just wants to play single player, and I'm glad it's there for maybe kids or people who just want to come home, kick their feet up, grab a slice of that sandwich each, and just chew the fat for a while. Anyway, if you've played some Pokemon 2 player, why don't you let me know what you thought? And remember, like button, subscribe button, you do you, and for everything Nintendo. Stay tuned to Nintendo Everything.